posted by Damon is 24. Am I the butthole? For telling my girlfriend she needs to ask when her sibling wants something when in the one paying. Just about every time we go out to eat or to the store, our little sister, 21, will nag us to find out where we're going and almost always will ask my girlfriend to purchase something specifically that her little sister told her to get without even mentioning to me that it was for her, something she had specifically told my girlfriend to get. At this point, it feels like I'm constantly paying for three instead of two every time we go out somewhere. I told my girlfriend that if her sister wants something when I pay, she should at least ask me because 9 slash 10, I wouldn't mind. That's the thing, I really wouldn't. It's just the principle. My girlfriend argued it would be almost the same thing if I got it for her and she chose to share it with her sister, my rebuttal was. No, it wouldn't be the same thing because she would have never even got it if her sibling didn't ask. Edit, I feel like as a lot of comments are going into the direction of she never pays, she's taking advantage, etc. I thought I'd interject for probably the first six months that we were together my GF26 paid for a majority of things as I was a full-time student. I'd insist on staying in, not getting something, but she'd get it for me anyways and insist. So I don't think her offers to pay are superficial at all, I truly believe them to be true. She has a good heart, which at times can allow her judgment to be clouded, I feel like. Upon graduating and making real money, that's what has led to me paying most of the time now. Just sort of a repayment back for what she did for me. I think the issue is more rooted in the fact that her sister expects me or her to pay every time she wants something and the fact that my girlfriend sees no wrong in that. And now to the comments. Parsimonious Salad commented. Not the butthole. I'm kind of stuck in the idea that your GF just expects you to foot the bill for her all the time before you even add her additional family member to the list. That's pretty entitled. A comment from a original poster. I mean, maybe it's my fault. She offers, but I'm usually very insistent on paying. I don't mind paying for her. I love her. Paying for her sister is a different story. A comment from Natural Wapol61. Hollow. That's my take too. The GF is the old for mooching and double for expecting it to be okay for her sister as well. LB Dash likes to add. Not the butthole. Asking to be asked does not sound like an unreasonable request to me. Miss 66 likes to add. We are not the butthole for making a very reasonable request. Girlfriend is the age for possibly the weirdest answer to that request I can think of seriously. You're dating her not her sister. Little sister is the age because she is 21 and should know better than to pull this shit. Mrs. Schnickel 86 likes to add. Not the butthole I would just stop buying then. Most especially if she asks for something specific. You can honestly say, I'd love to buy that however, I have decided it's best I start saving money. Is this something that you can live without? To the next post. Posted by Dangerous Leopard Minus 18. Am I the butthole for telling my parents they're wrong and they need to come to terms with things? My parents have me 18th and my sister 17th. Sister and I are not close and now that I have moved out, we have no relationship. We do not mesh well. We have never been friends. Weren't always so far apart either. But our personalities are not good for being close and then she played a prank on one of my closest friends and I was done with her after that she was 15 and I was 16 and this prank was adding my friend is trans in our school and showing people photos of him. My sister said it was just a prank and wasn't meant to be such a big deal. But my friend did not return to school and has been homeschooled since then because we go to a very conservative school and anyone who is LGBTQ plus has a rough time. So anyway, my parents have despaired at our lack of relationship and called me home to talk to me about the future. They said they wanted my sister and I to plan their funerals together when the time comes and to fix our issues before then. My parents said when they are gone, we will be all the other has and how I was will be the longest relationship either of us has. I told them they were wrong. That when they are gone, we won't have any reason to see each other and we won't be part of each other's lives. My parents were shocked I was thinking like that. I told them we are better off staying away from each other. 
that the last time I expect we will see each other is at one of their funerals and then we'll just like our lives apart. I told them they need to come to terms with that because I won't be taking part in any attempts that try to make us closer. My parents said I was unnecessarily cruel to them about that and how could I not understand why they would want us to be there for each other. Am I the butthole? And now to the comments. A comment from Jack Ninjafu. Not the butthole. Once again my own personal experiences as a trans woman kicking as even as a joke outing someone as trans is extremely cruel in a conservative school as there's no doubt they would end up subjected to abuse and bullying even if they're not actually trans. More on topic the parents need to realise what actually caused the lack of a relationship instead of just force on onto both of you. When my grandfather died I temporarily re-established contact with my dad over it but never did re-establish a relationship and he's still out of my life and you hinted you might be doing the same which should be enough. I find it pretty strange that they're planning their own funerals there. Given your age, they can't be that old. It also seems a little pessimistic that they won't lie for very long. Are they okay? Automatic would bigger sex likes to add. I kind of assumed they were just bringing up the funeral question as an emotive topic to manipulate the original poster into doing what they want. Lily May likes to add. His parents are likely between 40 and 50 and need to redo their wills because they no longer need guardians for their children. They are also probably planning on naming their kids co-executors of the estate. It's the perfect time to plan your will and funeral. Cranky Kitty likes to add. Not the butthole. You can understand why your parents would want you to be there for each other, while at the same time acknowledging that will never happen. You can plan a funeral with your sister while also planning never to see her again. Some siblings get along, others don't. Make it clear to your parents that you don't think it is a fault the two of you don't get along and reassure them that you have a support system of good friends who will help you when you need it. Creative Employee 316 commented. Not the butthole. Being born into the same family does not require you to be in contact with someone. I wouldn't expect your parents to understand or respect your boundaries. Mine never did. To the next post. Posted by Nero Pass. Am I the butthole? For being honest with my family? Six weeks ago, a 27 male and the sister 27 female began a long distance relationship with the black colleague 23 male that she met at a conference several months prior. Some background info, my family is Pentecostal. Grandfather founded our church circa 1972 and is still pastoring. Dad 55 male is due to become the lead pastor in a couple months. He and mom 52 female met there and married 30 years ago. My sister and I did not have kids our age at church, and dating is difficult for religious people like us. Two years ago, I wanted to convert to Catholicism but was told if you leave our church, I don't see how we can have a relationship from mom and you're a liar and a deceiver from dad. Needless to say, I did not convert. Story, mom found out that sister had begun seeing colleague. Per sister, mom said if you two have children, your kids will be nothing. Sister was obviously upset. I told her that I did not agree with mom's stance on interracial marriage and I had no religious objection to it. Two weeks later, sister stated that there was an event about one one slash two hours away that she wanted to go to and that I should come. She then stated that colleague would drive down as well. We all met there. He is about five, six, head full of locks, glasses, hard of hearing, so deaf sounding speech, and all laughs. He made her smile, and I was invisible for how enthralled they were with each other. For clarity, she had previously said that he also was raised in a similar religious background. Apparently, this was a secret from Dad. Mom blamed Sister for causing secrets in her marriage. Mom also took me aside and said Sister was lying to manipulate the situation. I confirmed with Sister she wasn't. Finally, after four weeks, the truth came out. Dad thought on it for a day, then he confronted sister. He said you've always been entitled and rebellious, if you want to go your own way, then you need to go on. Sister was visibly upset and went for a drive. Later that night after church, I had been giving dad the cold shoulder, so he confronted me and asked if I was mad. I said that I disagreed with his position on interracial relationships and that he didn't handle the situation well. Sister and I left church. 
Parents didn't come home for a while. Mom comes home and does not know about Dad. She calls and then comes bursting back in. She says Dad drove to his office and sitting in his truck, wailing. He says his kids have turned against him, they don't love him, and he wasn't going to come home. Mom blamed me for telling him my feelings and sister for involving and manipulating everyone. Mom convinced Dad to come home. We were told to sit and listen to her. She said that she had prayed for God to end her life so she wouldn't have to see her family broken up and that God didn't make any mistakes putting us together. The next few days, Mom and Dad would continually smile at us to try and make us smile back at them. Am I the butthole? For telling Dad how I felt and causing a breakdown. Dear listener, do you like my voice? Please tell me which speaker you prefer in the comments below. And now to the comments. Bob Audrey likes to add. Your family has created a universe in which it is exceedingly difficult for anyone to leave. In addition to that, your parents have exhibited racist behavior and attitudes. In addition to that, your parents had exhibited rigid attitudes and beliefs that they apparently would prefer to hold to rather than have a loving family. And in addition to that, your mother someone who, given your faith description, would undoubtedly consider unliving a sin tells you that she prayed for God to end her life when confronted with a deviation from the norms they seek to enforce. This is utter manipulation. You are not the butthole. I hope you focus your honesty on yourself and examine whether your family and its self-made faith are actually invested in what's best for your sister and you or simply on holding to dogma. There are other ways to live. There are other faiths to follow, even Pentecostal faiths. Do not roll over to be placed back under the manipulative ways of your parents. Katana Strike commented. Not the butthole. Exactly, it's said here you must leave behind your parents for your own sanity. This is not a church, no matter if that is what your parents and grandparents call it. This is a racist cult not unlike the KKK. It does not teach Christianity. It only contains monstrous hateful ideologies that didn't even belong in society when your grandfather founded this cult in the 70s. Reward Launch and Ping Tour 170A commented. Not a butthole. Your parents are literal religious extremists, racist, and are emotionally having slash manipulating you and your sister. Your parents need to get called out for way more than what you said, and I know it would have been hard for you to stand up as much as you have so far. Wonder Real likes to add. Not the butthole. They are your parents, so I will say this the kindest and most respectful way possible. They are the kind of religious parents who non-religious people think of when they warn their families and friends. They are forcing you to choose between church and your future. They are forcing your sister to choose between her parents and her future. They are emotionally manipulating you and your sister, my kids don't love, I pray that I die, blah blah, just to keep you as they want this picture-perfect family. You didn't cause breakdown in the family. Your parents did by being controlling and manipulative. Apologies if my comments don't make sense, English is not my first language. Emery likes to add. Not the butthole. Your parents sure are, though. You've done everything right. Keep supporting your sister. To the next post. Posted by Moodboard Sister. I'm at the butthole for refusing to put a picture of my stepsister on the mood board my sister and I made for ourselves. As 16 female, I'm really close with my older sister as my fake name, 18 female. Before she moved out, we together made a funky mood board for our room on which we put our baby pictures and just all about written inside jerks and pictures of things we both love, like Ice Age, Move a Silly Ick and Taylor Swift. The mood board means a lot to me, as we spend a lot of time bonding with each other all over again while making it. On to the issue, I have a half-sister, six female, same dad, different moms, my parents are divorced and dad remarried who comes over every alternate weekend spend time with her sisters, as my dad says. I'm gonna be honest, I don't particularly look forward to hanging out with her because of the wide age gap, but she's a good kid and I make sure she enjoys herself every time she is over. We play games, watch movies and overall spend quality time together. Now she has obviously noticed the mood board and she always says that she finds it very pretty and that her baby pictures are cute. My paternal grandma heard this and started nagging me to put a picture of her up there too, since she is our sister and deserves it my half-sister herself has never asked for this. 
My issue is that we had to specially order customized pins for the board and I don't have any extras. Esmer and I look very different now. She is much prettier but as baby is. We look very similar and those pictures of us looking like each other mean a lot to me. I'd cry. I like my half-sister, but she is not anywhere close to the place my sister holds. The board is a representation of things we bonded over over the years and her photo up there just kind of comes off as intruding to me. After weeks of nagging, I told my grandma I'm not putting a picture of her on the board for the above reasons and she went off on me, telling me I'm spoiled and entitled and that she is disappointed in me. She said I must hate my half-sister 100% false and she knows this too and is now refusing to talk to me. My mom and sister are on my side, half-sister has been normal too but my dad said he can't believe I could be this selfish. Am I the butthole? Edit half-sister not stepsister. Edit too as I've mentioned in another comment, half-sister is not crafty at all right now. She is more interested in playing doctor or house so that is what we do. And yes, I did ask her if she wanted to make something with me and she literally suggested making the model of a tsunami so we can pretend her teddy bears were the victims of a tsunami attack while playing Dr. Lol. If at any point in the future though, she did ask me herself to make a mood board with her, I will. Edit 3, I live with my mom. My dad lives with my half sis and wife. She comes over not as a result of some custody arrangement but just to spend some time with us, which we don't mind. My grandma is the one who brings her over and stays while she plays. And now to the comments. Little Marrying 766 commented. Not the butthole. It's a moot board. I don't see why they're taking things so seriously. It's up to you to put what you want on it. Ignore them. It's really no big deal. A comment from a original poster. That's what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, if she ever asks me herself to customise a board with her, I would, but I ain't editing my existing mood board to appease someone else, lol. A comment from Ornery Pathos. Not the butthole grandma should stay out of it. And your mood board is fine. Original poster likes to add. I mean, yes, half sis herself never asked to be out there, I'd quote grandma's deal. A comment from Important Lawyer Minus 315. Not the butthole. That's a special thing between you two. Grandma gets no say. But, would you consider maybe making another one with her if she wanted to? A comment from a ridge in our poster. If she herself ever told me that she wanted me to make one with her, I will. To the next post. Posted by Orange Normal. Am I the butthole? For making my mom's friends find a hotel while staying in my city? A 42 male live on the opposite side of the country from my parents, and me and my husband 45 male happily accommodate them in our condo when they come to visit. We've got a guest room and guest bath, so it's not usually an imposition. For reasons I can't explain, my mom seems to be absolutely in love with the condo and talks about it frequently. One day and without my knowledge me mom offered up my place to two of her friends, a pair of women around her age, that were going to be travelling to my city. She called to ask me after the fact, almost certainly expecting that I'd say yes. She tried to sweeten the deal slash guilt trip me into it by saying they'd cook for me and that one of them just lost both her husband and son and could use the financial assistance and company. But the reality is that I've never met these women, both me and my husband work during the day and I feel like I don't owe my place to these strangers, no matter their life situation. I recommended some hotels they could stay at instead and left it at that. Here's where it gets weird, when I returned home to attend my grandmother's funeral, this woman was there and confronted me. It was frankly uncomfortable. She introduced herself as I'm so and so, the person who you wouldn't let stay at your place. I brushed it off with a friendly it's nice to finally meet you, I hope you enjoyed your time in city, but I couldn't help but feel surprised that she, a total stranger to me, was offended that I wouldn't offer up my place. I empathize that she has had a lot of hardships and that my actions meant she had to pay hundreds of dollars for accommodation, but I've still got a strong feeling that I'm not the butthole here. Am I right? And now to the comments. Dreaming Out Loud 714 commented. Not the butthole. Your mom and her friend were wrong. 
to confront someone at the funeral is outrageous, yes, not not out behaviour. A comment from Sheila Person. Covered in caramel and peanuts. Mix Reed likes to add. Not the butthole and you probably dodged a bullet. If this woman is going to come at you at your grandmother's funeral, I doubt she wouldn't have tried to walk all over you in your own apartment. The comment from Are You Fan at Birth. Completely not the butthole. Your mum and her friend crossed a lot of boundaries and you handled the situation well. A comment from Extinct Diplodocus. Not the butthole. You have zero obligation to house strangers in your condo. Your mother has less than zero permission to offer your premises or your services without your previous agreement. Glad you gently kept this woman who showed up at a distance. Congrats on standing your ground. Imaginary in photos likes to add. Not the butthole. Your mom is a nut job for offering accommodations in your home to strangers. I'm glad you stood your ground and said no. For this strange woman to approach you right after your grandmother's funeral is shocking, to say the least. She clearly has no class, but her lack of decorum or self-awareness screams psycho. Just what was she trying to accomplish? You dodged a nasty, toxic bullet. Your mum owes you an apology. Proud at 8,830 commented. Not the butthole, how does she act that way at your family member's funeral? That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you want more of this content, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell. I wish you a great day.